Hey everyone, I'm going to show you how easy it is to create your own images using Midjourney and creating an overlay on an image using LSP Actions. So I'm over here in Discord and you can see this texture that I found in using Midjourney. So how you do it is we just type imagine and I could do fine art, textured background, I could do purple tones. I had originally done the gray tones. Let's say I do purple tones. I'm going to do aspect ratio 16.9 and I'm going to go there. It's going to go and generate an image. Once you generate the image, you can upscale it so that it's a larger size or there's other ways of upscaling. And I talk about those other say, those other ways in my AI Creative Collective. But if you're in here, you can just do upscale. Once we do that, we're going to just do save image and we're going to save where we want it. Now, that one is upscaling, so it's not quite done yet and it's still searching for the images. Once it searches for the images, then I can choose which image I want or I can and create a variation. For example, if you look at these four, I chose one, that's the image I chose, or I could do three, that's a pretty image, or I could do variation and it could give me a different variation. Okay, so I'm going to come down here and this is my upscaled image, so I'll just save it right now to my downloads for now. I have a separate AI folder and these are the purple tones, which are really gorgeous. I really like number three, so we'll let number three populate and I'll upscale it. While that's happening, I already have the textured image saved, right? So I'm going to come over here to Photoshop. I love LSP because I find it super simple to use. I have the LSP overlay app applicator action. I'm going to hit play. Once I do that, it's going to look for my image. Okay. I'm going to hit place and I actually want to rotate it because I want this dark area in the top left area. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do edit transform and I'm going to rotate clockwise. Okay. Now I'm going to drag it up here and I'm just going to stretch it, make it a little bit wider, and then I'm going to double click. Once I do that, you can see that using the action, it perfectly places it in the background. I didn't have to mask anything. I didn't have to erase anything. The action did it all for me. What's great is it's also layered. So everything I did is a layer. So if I change my mind and decide I don't want to use it, I can just turn that layer off. This is why I love LSB actions. It's so easy to use. And this is also one of the 5,000 reasons that I love using AI because I can just create my own background drops and just cater them to my will. I'll come back over here and I can see the purple ones that I chose and I think those are just gorgeous so I think I'm going to play around with those. If you want to learn more make sure you visit us at the AICreativeCollective.com. We have tons of different information. There's a download with 50 examples PDF and preview of images that I've done, as well as you can join our lifetime membership and learn as much as you want forever for one fee or join us monthly. We also have an AI basics course that we're doing and all sorts of other things. So make sure you join us at the AICreativeCollective.com and understand that AI is only limited by your imagination. I'm Anna Brandt. Thanks for watching.